Hello everyone. Recently a friend of mine came to me and said that someone has stolen his phone. He asked me if there is a way that I should use to find or locate his phone. So I simply used the Google Find to simply locate his phone but it was not really helpful because he lives in a region where locating phone is almost impossible with Google My Find because in that specific region people are not constantly connected to the internet and Google Find uses internet to locate a phone. So aside from that, uh, he went ahead and bought a new phone and then he simply tried to log in with his Gmail into his new phone and then uh, he faced an error. He sent me the screenshot that he simply can't log in into his Gmail. Let me show you what do I mean. Let's go ahead and open it in the incognito mode and log in into Gmail and see what do I mean. Google is giving the error of Google could not verify this account belongs to you. So why? We have no idea why. Aside from that, when I click on recover account, it is uh, asking for email again. When I go ahead and enter the email and see it is giving another, again an error. It's saying that you did not provide enough information for Google to be sure that this account, that this account is really you. Google asks for this info to keep your account secure. Aside from that, you're saying that uh, if your account is managed with family link, you have sent an email to, pray, uh, to parent to change your password. So this is not really helpful, right? I went ahead and asked Google uh, about this and they simply uh, sent me this link. If you can see this is a screenshot, uh, I think I have made sure that that is hidden. So for the moment, I'm not really sure. Let me show you the screenshot. So as you can see, this is the link. It is saying that uh, go g.co slash recover. Go ahead and enter your email there. So I went ahead and provided my email there also to simply recover the Gmail. And it said that I will send a link uh, within the two days. Okay. I waited for the link. I did not receive any link. Again, I waited uh, and entered, went ahead and entered the email address. I did not recover, got any uh, recovery email from Gmail at all. To my recovery option that was set in these specific emails. So let me go ahead and uh, show that to you. So if you go ahead and take a look here in the recovery option. So you can see there is the email. So if I have to go ahead. Now Google has sent me this verification code. But I don't know where should I enter this code. So this is really confusing, right? That is really a problem. Aside from that, when you go ahead and add your device uh, into that um, g.co slash recover, it is saying that we'll send you a link uh, to sign in within 30 days. And again, this was not really helpful. First it was uh, 30 days, then it becomes two days. And then again, I don't know, three days. If you try over and over, it will saying it will uh, uh, give you more days. So it is not quite clear. What should I do? I watched many videos across the YouTube to help me, but none of them were helpful. So now in this case, when I find out that how should I fix this problem, since this Gmail is only logged in into my computer, it is not logged in anywhere. So the solution is that uh, other than this recovery option, uh, please keep in mind that you should always use recovery phone number because that will be really helpful for recovering uh, this option. So in our case, uh, recently in Pakistan, whatever phone number you should enter, it is not going to get a verification from, from Google. I don't know why. Uh, I think there is some kind of problem with the Google's end. We have no idea why. However, I managed to simply fix the problem by adding another sign-in option. For instance, you must either set a passkey, uh, use the two-factor authentication application, or uh, use the two-step verification phone number, or you have to simply go ahead and set a backup course. And then using the backup course, you can just simply go ahead and log in into any device using the... Uh, your Gmail. So let's go ahead and set it up and check out if the problem should be fixed or not. So
So from here, I am going to uh, get or create a backup course. Now I'm going to download this course. Okay, now I have those course available with me. Okay, now if I have to simply go ahead and close that. Let's go ahead and try it out again. Gmail.com. So now, as you can see, it is asking for a two-step verification of the eight-digit backup course that I just downloaded from there. So if I have to enter one of them, now these codes are only available for one-time use. So the moment you logged in with uh, your email into inside your phone number, make sure that uh, you, sh you should set it up uh, a pass key if your phone has a fingerprint option. If it does not have, you should uh, use some kind of another uh, backup option that should really help you to log in into your Gmail. So as you can see now, the problem has been fixed. I can just go ahead, log in into another phone number, into another uh, phone or into another browser. This is the simplest solution that I have in mind and came with the solution to fix the problem. I sure hope that this should fix the problem if you are facing the same problem as me. So the problem was that the Gmail was logged in into my computer. It had not any recovery option uh, such as phone number. The only recovery option it had was an email address, nothing else. So whenever I tried to log in, you saw that it was giving me the error of uh, this account does not belongs to you or something like that, or we could not verify this account belongs to you, something like that. So based on that, I sure hope that this video should be helpful for you. Uh, and now I'm let me know uh, or simply subscribe to the channel and do not forget to comment if the problem has been helpful to you this video has been helpful to you or no so have a nice day goodbye and i'll meet you guys in the next video